Hey, it's Anne, Phases from One Voice, and I've been asked to put together a little video that explains breathing. So we have two parts of breathing. We actually handle them quite separately. Inhalation is done through a very wide open, surprised, pleasant expression. And it goes down as far into our abs as we possibly can get. It goes down to our pelvic floor. We expand out at the side ribs. We expand it at the back, we expand it in the abs. We kind of change from a cylinder into a pear shape. We drop that air down as far into our pelvic floor as we can. Then to get the air out, we base it all on a sibilant S. S a snake hiss. S that's enough to do trills on. And that's enough to sing on. Up and bending over backwards. It just, it is the same amount of air. Almost doesn't matter what the intensity is. When you want more intensity, what we do is we go back to that snake and we make that snake angry and swearing at someone. And that's going to engage muscles all the way down the front side of your abs, up and underneath you, if you do it hard enough, to the exit of your body. Now, we preach that you should be standing on your sit bones in your chair, so your spine is upright. <clears throat> and so the exit of your body is off the chair. And so if you wanted to go for operatic intensity, then you'd also add a uh, press down into your rectal area towards the exit of your body to try and make it touch the, the seat. And that's the difference between pianissimo and forte in this case. Now the amount of air that's coming out doesn't dramatically change. We're changing the back pressure that's behind it. So most of our singing is done on a 60% lung full of air from just that quick little breath, and then the sibilant S. If the world should stop, it's just the same amount of air. So hopefully that makes it simple. If you have any questions, put a question in one of our chat areas and we'll take care of it for you. See you online. Bye-bye.